The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. He truly seems to enjoy combat. Of course, Cole, because it's what Lesnar was built for. The battlefield is his home. Yeah, Brock Lesnar relishes the chance to go out and simply conquer. Because Brock wants to be on the very top of the mountain. And he won't be denied. And his opponent from Mars, weighing in at 442 pounds, the Predator. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. Defeating Lesnar? Well, you can almost write your ticket to becoming a legend. A task few have been able to accomplish, and many have fallen to the beast. first win at WrestleMania 12, but this one has the makings of being a classic on par with the original. Well, there haven't been many Iron Man matches because it takes a rare superstar to compete in them. Incredible stamina, an iron will, and the tenacity of a wildcat. I know that these superstars have been doing a lot of high-intensity training and sustained cardio so they can execute every bit of their offense no matter what point it is in the match. But nothing really prepares you for the actual Iron Man match, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole, but you gotta try. Byron, what is something a superstar should do after they score the first fall? When you win the first fall, you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal. Keep that energy going and try to score another fall. I strongly disagree. After scoring the first fall, the sage thing to do is go on defense, slow things down, run the clock out. Heavy body shots. With Tom, what a close line. Whipped into that corner. Wicked drop kick. Plancha to the floor. 
just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, my God. Brock here now. Not used to being without the momentum. But I must give credit. Catching Brock like this is an incredible challenge. stay in this match. Take it down to the canvas. Weather with a weight slot. I think we're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. The Suplex City. Coming next, taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. Take the wind right out of you. No gut punch. Nasty. Oh, my God. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Lesnar has been on the hunt in this match, and he's got his target well measured by now. Rock with the quick wherewithal. Sleeper slam. What's Lesnar doing going to the top rope? Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Lesnar delivering with frightening force. Just another day in the office for the Beast in Carter. Fighting the Beast back. He got tired of being pushed around and wanted to gain the advantage. And we just saw some serious offense. And oh my God, what a fall! I could have jumped. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Oh, straight four. What's Brock got coming to him? Dropped on a crown. Now this is it. Shoulders down. Oh, only two. If there was anyone other than Brock Lesnar to kick out there, I'd be more surprised. The supreme being of our species doing inhuman things. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Look out! Flash! Brock must be phased after this string of action. We hardly ever see Lesnar in this alarm state. Uh-oh. Double foot stop. Well, I put my money on that guy tonight. Two! And he's still in the game. The Beast Incarnate, he is not a man who stays down easily. No, it's not exactly a walk in the park trying to put Lesnar down for good. What's the tally of how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Lesnar cuts him off. Now Lesnar looking for some momentum. Could be what Lesnar needed to reawaken the beast. For the victory here. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. From the top! Fails to hit the bullseye. Oh. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh. That might be it. And I just think the constant attacks to the core have caught up to him. The body has just been gradually falling apart to this point. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Placed into the corner. Able to interrupt the attack. Lesnar 
will be your tour guide for this trip to Superflex City. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Three. No, no, no. The shoulders were not down. The referee was right on top of it. Bodies have been decimated. Fortitude has been tested. And these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. And we see the attention being put on the torso area.
He's been placed in the corner now. All teed up. This is going to be bad. Oh, He's trying again. Persistent assault. He's on his heels. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Good night. Lesnar's got this closed up. He gets the ball there. has not been kind to him. surging only after the win is when you realize what damage has been done let's hope we can get an update on the winner soon